So now we will prove the next theorem that every finite integral domain is a field. So let me write the proof. So let D be an integral domain and D is finite. So this D set will have elements. I will write the finite elements. Now we know that integral domain must contain zero. Integral domain also contains unity. So integral domain will also contain one and all other elements I will write as a2, a3. In between, let me write ai, let me write aj and uh, the last element I'm calling what? I'm calling an, okay? So when I write these elements a, a1 up to an, it is clear that all these a1, a2, a3, all these AJ, ais, they are all non-zero because I have written zero separately. So AI is not equal to zero for I going from what value to what value? I going from one to N, correct? Now I will pick an element A, which is not a zero element and which is not also one in D. So I will pick any one element amongst these people and that element I'm going to call A and that a should not be zero and that, that a should not be one. Okay. Now I will multiply the set con complete set by that element a. So consider the set a into d. So when I write the set a into d, I'm going to get a into zero. I'm going to get a into one and I'm going to get a into a one, uh, a into a two, a into a j, a i, sorry, a into a j and a into a n correct which is equal to what which is equal to a into zero is zero so that is zero this is a this is a a one a a two and a a i a a j and a a n correct now this person here, since A is not equal to one, we have assumed that A is not equal to one. Since A is not equal to one by assumption, this means that amongst the remaining people, somebody has to be equal to one. This implies A into A1 is 1 or A into A2 is 1 or dot 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 till A into An is equal to 1. Some 1 has to be 1 because right because these are all elements of D itself right. So it is just shuffling of the elements. Say suppose I understand that A into a k comes up to be equal to 1. Suppose I understand that there is some person a into a k and that a into a k turns up to be 1. This implies that a k is the multiplicative inverse of a where a is not equal to 0 and therefore we have taken any element which is non-zero in the integral domain, okay? And that element is turned up to be a unit, means it has a multiplicative inverse, right? Now, only one thing one must verify here that we, ha we have to write here that, where have I used the fact that the set D is an integral domain, right? So we will just write that why you must get a one somewhere for some k some k so let me write it at the end note that a into a k cannot be zero why it cannot be zero because 
a is non zero by assumptions ak is also non zero by our assumptions here i have written above c here a is also not zero ak is also not zero therefore a into ak cannot be zero since d is integral domain okay so here i have used the fact that it's an integral domain and therefore now we have got any we have taken any a and we have found out the multiplicative inverse of uh, a who is that multiplicative inverse of a that multiplicative inverse of a is ak i'm calling it ak and therefore we have proved that d is the field so we have proved that any finite integral domain is nothing but a field 